All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about speed hunts tonight on Nanny State Nonsense here on a report for Tiger Mountain. Stick around and listen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, yes, speed hunts, people think they save lives, you know, and, um, you know, like they slow people down and, and uh, all this kind of stuff and that they're really good for people, you know, and I mean, I guess cars could be speeding around these back streets here in Carlton and, uh, you know, surely having these things saves lives, you know, but this is not the case because I, I had it explained to me from somebody who works for an ambulance driver, he said that these things basically stop uh, ambulances getting to people who are having heart attacks where it's like 30 seconds makes a huge difference if they get there say two or three minutes late anywhere where these fucking things are it stops ambulances it stops police getting there to save someone's lives who might be having their home invaded or it might be a domestic abuse situation or a fire for example it stops the fireies from getting there on time so these things are a fucking death trap but they create the illusion uh, of safety and that's why they're popular and that's why you know i guess it's kind of almost part of weight culture in a way that we think things like um speed humps are really good for people but they aren't they slow down emergency services and whatever actual benefit these things might bring by slowing traffic down is far outweighed by the fact that ambulances uh, police uh, essential services and fireys are slowed down by these ridiculous things so that's what all i wanted to say ladies and gentlemen uh, speed humps are ridiculous and they're a death trap and uh, that's part of the Nanny State Nonsense series here on the Report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you for listening.